Hey everyone, so I'm back today with another video and today I made this really cool doormat. So I've lived in my house for about a year and a half and I've never had like a proper doormat. Um, so this is one of those hello, goodbye doormats. So when you um, show up, you see the hello and then when you leave, you see the goodbye. Um, so I've seen these kind of doormats um, before and I always thought they were really cute. Um, I got uh, just the base mat from Ikea for super cheap and then I made the stencils um, using my Cricut Maker. Um, so if you're interested in making a doormat like this, then keep on watching. So for this tutorial, you'll need a few things. First of all, you'll need the IKEA doormat, and so I'll link the exact type in the blog post because I don't remember exactly what it's called. You'll, of course, you need your Cricut um, machine. So I used a standard grip mat for that and then some vinyl that I bought off Amazon, so I can also link some of that information as well. Some blue paint, a little sponge just to apply the paint, and then, of course, transfer paper to use your vinyl. So now I have Cricut Design Space pulled up. Um, what we need this for is just so we can type out the words, whatever you want on your doormat, um, and uh, you'll be able to cut it out of vinyl to create the stencil so you can paint it onto your doormat. So the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, use the text tool here. And so I'm gonna have hello and goodbye. So I'm gonna make those two words. And um, you're going to want to take into account the measurements of your mat, which I already have. So I know I want my words to be about 5 um, inches tall and, you know, like 15-ish inches um, long. Um, but what we're going to have to do for this font that I chose, which is Sweet Pea, um, is I want to make these letters appear closer together. So what we're going to do is go to this letter space area and just take it down until you can see that the letters are cut touching and it looks like um, cursive. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Perfect. And then I'm going to do one more here. Um, and then you can see um, here is when you try to move it to be a different size, it always does it to scale. Um, so if you want to change the size, you can open any of these locks and you can change the um, uh, width and height um, separately. So I know I want it to be five inches tall and about, let's say, 18 inches long. And then same with this one. And then you're going to have to play with it a bit because um, goodbye, the letters go uh, below and above the center line, whereas hello, the letters are only above the center line. So um, this word actually looks a lot bigger. So I'm going to have to do some resizing um, just to make sure that the two words look kind of proportional to each other. So I like how these sizes look. Um, I'm going to remove a little bit of letter space here. And then I'm just going to lock it back up. Okay, so now we're ready to make the piece. So you're going to want to make sure we have our setting on cut because we're cutting out of vinyl. And um, then we can just click make it. So I have a longer mat. I have a 12 by 24. Um, and... I am going to kind of just readjust where these um, pieces are um, just so when I actually have the stencil I want to make sure I have enough space um, to cut it out. I've actually decided that I don't think I have enough space here so I'm going to do two separate cuts. So you can click here and click move to another mat. Um, and so now you can see each cut is on a new mat. Okay, so I've organized it how I want on the two mats. And I'm just going to click continue. 
and you're gonna um, you know connect your device which mine isn't on just turn on so now you're gonna have to set a material um, vinyl is already on the popular material so we have our default pressure we're gonna want to load our fine point blade in the clamp and then I'm using a standard grip um, 12 by 24 mat for this and then I'll probably end up using fast mode because I always do so now I'm going to apply the vinyl paper onto the standard grip map. I'm actually using two 12 by 12 pieces, so I'll show you how to do that later. Um, so I'm just going to load my mat and press go and let the Cricut do all the work to cut out the stencils. So the cut is done and I'm going to unload the mat. So now I'm peeling out the letters from the vinyl and just throwing them away and so what I have left will be the stencil. I'm using a little pair of tweezers just to kind of get the peel uh, started and then you can kind of do the rest with the hands. And now I'm cutting the stencils just down to a smaller size so I have to use less transfer paper and taping the two halves of the stencil together. Now I'm applying the transfer paper over the top of the stencil, um, making sure all the little bubbles are out, um, really pressing those out and making sure the transfer paper is firmly applied. And then next I will remove the back of the vinyl and peel up the transfer paper. This is a little bit of a process. You're gonna wanna try to uh, peel back the transfer paper almost at a completely 180 degrees and just go slowly. The vinyl, I have super sticky vinyl and it hardly sticks to the mat, but it's gonna work perfectly fine. So kind of just slowly work through and reorganize your vinyl stencil. And then get your black paint and a little sponge and just dab straight up and down. Don't go side to side at all because you'll kind of get into underneath your vinyl. But if you go straight up and down slowly, um, it'll work perfectly well. You'll have clean, vi uh, clean lines even though your vinyl isn't sticking perfectly. So just peel it up and this is the amazing clean lines that I have. This is what the finished product looks like. Thank you all so much for watching the tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions below and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. See ya.